When you start this game, the first thing that you want to do is click this money sign at the bottom and claim your free gold. Right now I got 27,663 gold. It's probably You're probably going to claim a lot less than that. But once you do that, you want to run over this way towards this hut, jump over all this stuff over here, and go into the armor shop. The best starting item by far is this helmet right here. The reason why you want this is for the 10% lifesteal stat it's it's so good it's it's really really good if you can't if you can't afford the helmet you're gonna want to come to this fisherman over here kill him he drops this fisherman cap gives you 50 extra health down into underneath this uh, black area keep backing up um there's another secret down here uh another fisherman F 15 percent gold multiplier i think that might be new i'm not sure 25 percent armor shred plus 200 health Pretty good, definitely not as good as 10% life. All that you're gonna do is look for qubits. There's some above this thing or over here in, in a lot of different small spots. And later on you can get an item from this guy, the Desert Merchant, which can help you find qubits. Whenever you, whenever you click it, it, uh, it starts moving towards where the qubits are. There's goblins, you're gonna wanna kill them. And look for qubits, definitely do that because each qubit is a 10% uh, level increase to gaining levels so that's very useful so keep going down killing all these people see i got a basic sword very useful very cool um i think actually the bro the broken sword yeah the broken sword's better so stick with the broken sword um eventually you're gonna want to make your way up to level three kill this guy he drops this uh maro, maro shield uh you can path over here fight these guys the shadow assassins and they drop, uh, oh, they drop the sword punch. Uh, it's good for the speed. You definitely need speed early on and jump height. So, fight these guys. They drop some, they, they drop pretty much just that thing. You can fight this guy. He drops a bow in this archer cap. This is actually pretty good. 25% attack speed plus 50% accuracy plus 50% health. I don't, I don't know what accuracy does in this game, but the attack speed and health is really good to start out with. Once you get to about level 7, your biggest goal right now is to fight this dude, the masked fighter. He drops a rapier, which is extremely powerful. If you see here, it gives a bonus of up to... I think almost 100% attack speed. This one I got at 99%. So that is really strong. 25 melee power plus speed. Another thing that you want to do is kill these bunnies because they drop the bunny ears, which increases your jump height. It allows you to get more cubits that you wouldn't have been able to get before. I don't think this guy really drops anything too much. Oh, yeah, this is actually pretty good. So you're probably going to be like level 7, 8, something like that at this point. And you're going to want to make your way over to this snow area over here. Fight uh, fight these snow guys. You're going to want to grind till level 20. And that's because you'll be able to fight this dude, this worm guy. What he drops is a uh, ruby ring. It gives you plus 30% attack speed. It's pretty good. You get a lot of value out of that. So grind till level 20. There's a lot of, there's a lot of different people to fight. Um... There's this dude, to fight at level 20. Uh, oh, this is a pretty good shield. You'd be around level 20. So you make your way into this portal here and you know, start grinding levels. You can grind from this dude. And there's a secret cubit down here and a berserker. He drops a throwing ax. It's kind of bad, but um, if you really need a ranged weapon, it's whatever. Keep grinding, keep grinding gonna want to kill this guy now that you're around level 30 um there's more shadow assassins over here you can kill them too there's more things to get oh it's this uh farm boy he drops his uh his rake this is, this is pretty good to be honest uh it doesn't really have a good hit pattern and what i mean is um you just kind of like jab forward and it's a uh, it's it's hit zone is not that good compared to the rapier which is like you're swinging all around um you don't have to be exactly level 20 right here so this guy is pretty good to 
start fighting, and then you can move on to this guy, and then up to this guy, and then eventually, you're going to want a path over here, um, fight these level 33 people until you get to level 40, and then fight the serpent, because the serpent drops a uh, serpent's fang, beat that serpent, because you might get more value out of your stuff. Uh, your loadout probably still is going to be the same. You're just going to scale better. You know, uh, make sure to check your gold. You can check if you press tab. It's in the top right here. Or gold. Um, yeah. So, you can kill this guy. He drops a... Uh, well, just He drops this, the moon ring. Extra jump height. Good for finding cubits. Um, I wouldn't fight these bunnies yet if you're still level 40, unless you're really confident and you actually can do a lot of damage. But these these guys, they drop the upgraded bunny ears. So, uh, about double the jump height, double the speed. So those are really good. Um, you're going to want to make your way down from here. Go down here. Because you're going to be about level late 30s to 40s, so... You can fight this this guy over here, start grinding him, and then move on to these Vikings, and then move up to this ogre, and then up to the bunnies there. There's also people over here. There's a level 40 guy. Oh, the tombstone shield, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I don't know if that... Wow, the uh, the iron shield is still better. Eventually, you're going to want to kill this guy, but I really want to kill him first. He drops his spell sigil, which is it, it is probably the uh, the best item for a uh, mage. Once you're here, maybe you're like level 60 or 70 or something. Um, you're actually going to want to drop down into underneath this uh, black area. It's a secret place. And, uh, you know, there's there's more people to farm level 20 to 40. So, it's a good area. Um, and you're going to want to kill this guy. And that's because it uh, just scales well. Um, good attack speed, good health, good melee power. And also, if you press E, you have this huge... Yeah, all these bosses, they drop cubits. So, I think this guy, the uh, guy that dropped this uh, sword. Uh, I think th this guy, I think this Viking Warlord, and this... Deity, I think they drop um cubits. I'm not 100% sure. That guy down there, he drops a cubit. This guy, I think this gladiator guy, he drops a cubit. Even 60, if you're six, if you're level 60, you can go into this portal, it'll teleport you up to this uh, island up here, and um, you can go in here and start grinding to level 70, 80, um, fight this guy. He, uh, he, he, his drop isn't as good since you already have life steal. You don't really need to care about it. You know, start killing him with your sword. You can kite him out really, really easily. Eventually, you can fight this guy, the Castle Knight. There, there's a cubit, um, in here. So, uh, how, however you can make it up there, it'd be worth it. So, um, there's also this guy to fight. He's level 90. You can grind him for levels, too. But, um, as soon as you can, you're going to want to kill this Berserker Master and get this, uh, Warhelm. I mean, it's pretty good. You get this one, the Raging Tomahawk, plus 125% attack speed with 75% melee defense penetration. So, this is pretty good. Especially with the uh, with the helmet, you gotta shoot this stuff out really quickly. You can get up to the top here through this waterfall. Oh, another thing that you're you're gonna want to do is something very early on is uh, before you reset. Or I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like after after you reset, this guy he drops his a uh, blue steel sage cap. This gives you. This one's kind of bad, but you can get one. You can get one that gives you up to 94, 95% of a magic damage multiplier. So if you're going to go for a mage build, 
which I don't really recommend going for a mage build. You can do that. So, you know, you can just kill this guy over and over again until you get a, a decent one. I'd, I'd get one that's at least like 80% and above just to get all that value. So, um, that's pretty much it. There's a hidden cubit underneath here. Killing this guy, he doesn't really drop anything good, but he gives you a cubit. Um, there's not many other bosses or anything I can think of. Oh, this guy over here. All the way. This guy. This guy drops a cubit. He drops a he drops a scroll, which is actually pretty good. Gives you good good melee uh, mage stuff. Um, I think that's it. Let me know in the comments what you ate for breakfast, and see you.